earlier this year she had announced her retirement from all formats of international cricket after the women's T20 World Cup in Australia much to the dismay of her fans in Sri Lanka as well as the viewers of the world but the news that Shashikala Shrivardhana will play the women's T20 challenge has sparked delight not just in Sri Lanka but all around the globe in this edition of Avnir presents beyond the boundary part by WTF Sports it's a pleasure to have Shashikala Shrivardhana with me Hi Sashikala, how are you? Hi, I am good. Hope you too. Yes. Uh, first of all, uh, an important question that we must all ask everybody. F- friends, family, is everyone safe in these times? Yes, at the moment all are okay. And uh, I mean, uh, the situation is a little uh, not good, but uh, all are safe at the moment. Right. This is actually a post-retirement phase for you because uh, you had announced your retirement and then it was everything went into a lockdown. Uh, tell me how how it has been so far and how different uh, has it been to the stories you've been hear hearing of other players' uh, life in lockdown. Yeah, just after my retirement, uh, we had to face the lockdown, and it's been four to five months that we had to stay at homes. and uh, no cricket activities only we could watch some cricket of uh, previous tournaments and all uh, but uh, we i kept in uh, practicing and training at home the we could i do because uh, i knew that uh, i heard about the t20 challenge and uh, we have the domestic se- uh, tournament so we were in touch all uh, other players also i think and we saw some videos from social media that other countries players also uh, in a situation of lockdown but they uh, kept doing their practices and nobody could uh, you know be away from cricket so this is going to be your first uh, uh, time that you're going to play the women's t20 challenge how excited are you or what are you specifically looking forward to yes very much uh, i got the news uh, in january this year but due to this uh, pandemic and all uh, other situation uh, it was postponed and uh, we had that uh, faith that this will happen somewhere uh, in some time so we kept believing that and we kept ourselves ready for this uh, so really excited and hoping to deliver my best so what is the specific skill or what were you working on specifically in these times Uh, especially i uh, really looked at my physical fitness uh, which is very important in this format uh, and also uh, drills uh, like batting and bowling drills uh, went to went back to basics uh, because uh, with the resources that i have in my house and uh, just outside the house so i had to manage with uh, skill training but uh, before one month we could able to go back to our uh, working places like i work in sri lanka navy and my team is sri lanka navy uh, when i play the domestic so i could uh, take their advantage being there because there are a lot of facilities ground facilities and everything so there are few players who are not in the national squad in the navy team so i could able to practice with them uh, we have a good trainer there women's t20 challenge is going to be played in sharjah have you been following the ipl and the matches that have been taking place in sharjah yes yes i have been and is there anything specific changed in terms of your planning or preparation given the down uh, ground dimensions and all uh yeah i, I was you know watching closely uh, like uh, spin how the spin behaves and off spinners what the, what do they, they do uh so i've been uh, practicing those things uh but uh, just we have to go there and uh, look around and you know maybe the wickets can be changed uh so uh getting ready for everything uh hopefully it will happen as we plan it's been 3 to 4 months that international cricket is back now and we've been all hearing stories about life in a bio bubble so one what's your perception of a bio bubble and two what are you planning to do when you have to get into one before the women's t20 challenge yeah i have been heard, heard, heard about those things and from the uh, ipl also a uh, lot of uh, discussions going on so i think we have to uh, you know get on with that with the situation it's a, it's a huge privilege that we are 
backing action like we can play cricket we can watch cricket so i think we have to kind of sacrifices in the situation so be uh, best thing is that we are playing now so it's a very important thing for all the sports person all the viewers and all cricketers so i think uh, i'm ready for that and also uh, hoping to uh, you know uh, with the quarantine time and so hoping to continue what we doing lockdown and being in touch with cricket and being uh, physically fit so those are the things that uh, hoping to do in next few months so lastly is there are there any specific goals that you have in mind for the women's t20 challenge yeah uh, first thing is to make sure that I play my best like you know that is why we've been selected for this uh, tournament so it's most important thing to deliver our best uh, try our best to uh, there and make sure that women's cricket in a good standard uh, and also uh, whatever team i play i represent uh, my main target will be to play according to their plans and make sure the team wins so personally uh, hoping to do my best uh, that no other specific um, uh, targets uh, personal performance but uh, make sure the team wins which automatically take our performance in good way so sashikala thanks once again for your time it was a pleasure chatting to you uh, and go well in the women's t20 challenge thank you, thank you so much thank you thank you thanks a lot